fight coming up next, a heavyweight collision between Junior Dos Santos and Kimbo Slice. You ready? You ready? Let's go, All right, fight. so we got two classically trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. This one will be fought in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade kicks. It's going to be a classic matchup that you normally see inside of a ring. You get it in the octagon tonight. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the Let's get going now. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Lands through the body there. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active. Keep it busy, doing great work. Back and forth we go. Big power punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, you can hear the whack from here as he lands another leg kick in DC. Now we're seeing visible damage as that leg starts to redden. And now you start to see the damage. And now you start to see the. Oh! Huge right hand! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down now. Oh, straight right! Get right here. That one was going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Beautiful kick. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later. It looked like it did stun him a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> and he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Trying to hammer that lead leg. Oh, just open it up on him now. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fight. Whoa! Oh! He's got him hurt here. Slice gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Doing a nice job working that inside leg kick. Oh! Oh! Voicing its appreciation after that round, we had a knockdown courtesy. Okay, you ready? Round two. Ready? The second round underway. One over the top. Oh, he's hurt. All right, so he's landed some good shots. He hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations. Tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about the jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Lunges forward with a left there. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Go finish this fight. 
action. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. 51 total strikes have now landed for Junior Dos Santos. The accuracy rate, 32% against Junior Dos Santos. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Yeah, he's hurt really bad. Back to the feet. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Yeah, it looks a little wobbly on his feet. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down. Oh! Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Unbelievable. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. Beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near-perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. <laughs> All right, coming up next in the UFC Heavyweight Showdown. Are you ready? You ready? So All right, fight. so here we go. This highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchanges. Oh, really using his... Wow! He's in trouble. Bad. Oh, he might be out. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. One, two punch by the last kicks. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh. Two minutes have expired in our opening round. Back and forth we go. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. Oh! He's in trouble. He's getting lit up. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Punch over the top. And he landed the right hand there. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most stiff on all of these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. So 35 total he strikes. Hurt. Good work from the top here by Velasquez. Battling for hooks. Nice loop to punch. One minute now to go around one. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Gets up again here, but hurting. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Five minutes in the book. Stop, stop. Okay, round two, you ready? You ready? All right, let's get to round two. Nice. Ooh, watch the shot. Beautiful 
straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Just misses there with the left. for a second. Oh, oh. He's out! Oh! Woo! Oh, my goodness. What a fight. Beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near-perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. All right, so here we go with round one, and on one side, clearly the more well-rounded fighter, yet when we sat down with him on Thursday, first words out of his mouth, he ain't gonna submit me, I'm gonna try to take him down. Oh, my goodness, <laughs> and you laugh just like that, because you know how much of a joke this is. You want to avoid the grappling with this guy at all costs. I know he has bravado. I know he has a big ego, but it would benefit him to fight this fight and make it as easy as possible. Big knee lands right to the opponent's midsection. Beautiful kick. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Oh, nice job to land a knee to the body. Man, I wish I was that tall. and trying to shut the liver down. Way to hide that leg kick. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Nice. Nice. Oh, nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter. And I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, I wish I was a little bit taller. You're a baller, though, you see. Oh, big elbow. It's not there. All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, what do you do to get out of it? Anytime it's very tough, anytime you're chest to chest and you have nowhere to go, I think to myself, underhook. Whoever's winning the underhook is winning the clinch battle. So just over 20 total strikes have now found the target for Alistair Over. And they separate. Big kick. Real quick leg kick. Able to check the high kick. Good punch land. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Wow! Right, right. Let's get some offense. Let's get going. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his shin into his opponent. Oh, and he caught the kick. Oh, there it is. Oh, a nice job to catch the leg and work it right into a takedown. Oh, Beautiful transition there. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, Ready not fight. the round of the year necessarily, Ready. but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. When you have two very talented fighters, sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Nice kick. Oh, nice oh and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. 
Overeem's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. And they separate. Visibly limping here. Big punch lands through the middle. Another single collar tie. So 33 total strikes have now landed for you, DC. And connecting at a rate of 38% against Alistair Over. Oh, thought he might have had that head kick, but just out of range. Kareem gets touched by that kick there. Cormier's uppercut is blocked. Looked like for a minute he had a window there. It closed quickly. Oh, collar tie. Massive knee lands tight one. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Right back in the clinch. Look for the backhand. He's very active. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Big knee lands. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Oh, and he caught the kick. Okay, well, that is exactly how you turn defense into offense. Catches the kick and dumps him on the mat. What a great job timing that kick, driving into his opponent and putting him on his back. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. Knee to the body. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Well, at this point, he's got to be way up on the judges' scorecards, clearly winning the fight, and largely has gotten it done with his striking time. He got it done with his strike. He fought well behind the jab, but it was a significant strike that really did make an impact on the judges' mind. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. He's already landed several in this round, and the damage is really starting to take its toll. Yeah, it's really starting to take its toll, and you watch the opponent. He's walking gingerly on his leg, and one big tell that you're starting to really do well with your leg kicks is when your opponent starts to switch stances. Right. Watch for a stance switch very soon. And he landed the right hand there. 15 seconds. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And they separate. Ten yeah. minutes in the books. Hey, stop. A lot, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through. All right, the action continues here and now as our yeah, next fight. round gets yeah, underway. Right. The previous round yeah. won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He's giving him so many different things right now. Well, the body work started to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his left side. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. So as we call on the fight stats here, DC, 68 total strikes have now landed for Alistair Overeem. And the accuracy rate about 42% now against Daniel Cormier. Some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, 
That's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Head kick there blocked by Overing. He lands a big knee to the body. Ooh, head kick lands to hurt. Oh, nice connection by him there. Oh! Big head kick! Knee to the body! Nice liver shot lands. Five seconds remain in the round. Oh! Can't take many of those. You better check. Oh, he got it. That is it. He got it! Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught that ultimately appeared as though the outcome was an eventuality. So if you're the referee, you got to protect the fighter. And I thought he did a good job of doing just that. So here we go, the heavyweight rematch between Stipe Miocic, the former champion, taking on Francis Ngannou. Ngannou was favored going into that first meeting. What type of adjustments do you think he's made to try to even the score? He has to take his time. He has to make sure that Stipe doesn't put such a pace on him that he gasped. Last time he gasped. This time he needs to take his time, be very patient, wait for the right shot to try and finish Miocic. Shot by Miocic on the feet, making some adjustments, and man, that jab looks clean tonight. I mean, that jab looks clean, but you gotta be very careful not to get hit with a steep Miocic right hand. It's powerful, it's straight, and it can be very damaging. He's gotta be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Nice punch, man. Back and forth we go. Let's move that head. Let's move that head now. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Oh, nice jab to the head by Mia Chich. Put the guard beautifully there. And he that comes knee, through with a big knee. That knee hurt him. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. That one stuck in. Nice strike. Miocic gets hit with a kick. That's a good right hand there by Stipe. Maybe he'll attack the body here. You can certainly speak to that. He's yeah. a guy who mixes it up well. On He's a guy that can do everything. And not only can he land punches up high and punches up low, but he's a master of adjusting on the fly whenever he's inside. Oh! Huge right hand! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down. That is it. He got it! <laughs> Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught. He wanted to make sure he kept the judges out of the equation. Mission accomplished on that front as he gets the TKO victory here tonight. Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown.
Well, great to be with you tonight live from Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. And when I was here for UFC 113 back in 2010, George St. Pierre wasn't even fighting. <laughs> Loudest pro sports venue I have ever heard in my life. John, they get so excited to watch a fight. Look, man, when you go to Montreal, it's a great city, but it's cold. People are going to the arena not only for the fights, but to escape the snow. And once they get there, they are screaming and going absolutely crazy. This is a great fight. Out of range with that kick attempt. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Trying to establish that jab once again. Nice punch there. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, head kick blocked though by Volkov. Just over three minutes now to go. And that left hook landed on the button. Well done. Well, that is a oh, beautiful reaction by him there, DC. Caught the kick and immediately countered with a perfectly timed takedown. I mean, John, when you can have a reactionary takedown, it's usually the easiest one because you don't have to go and find the takedown. You just see. Oh, he can't right, so he catches the kick there and beautifully counters with the takedown. So a nice job turning that defense into some immediate offense there. He did a great job of turning his defense into his offense, but you can see that he's done that time and time again. He drilled that exact action and his work in this instance. Big kick land. Trying to get the knees going. Watch knees to the body. Nice body. So a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Good punch land. Oh, combination lands and it seemed like almost every strike found the target there. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Left hook to the head. Outstanding kick there by Volkov. Another good stick to the head. Oh, nice combination of strikes there in terms of the accuracy. I mean, that's exactly what a coach is looking for. That's exactly. It's like the guy is hitting pads. So it's like he's hitting focus bits, but instead, he's dancing all over his opponent's face. Great round, great round. Come on, have a seat. Have a seat. You're not tired. You're not tired. Look at him. He's breathing hard. Right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. When you have two very talented fighters, sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Oh, some of the best kicks you'll see right there, live and in oh. color. Wow, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold. It's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. Gets up again here, but hurting. Nice straight punch. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Visibly limping here. 
combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. It's like in a zone. It's like the basketball who becomes twice the size. This guy today is looking at focus mitts in his opponent. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. What a fight. Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught. All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. You ready? So two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about defending takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. Oh, spinning back fist. Didn't see that one coming. Both fighters throwing heat now. What a punch. Good. Keep the pressure on him. A strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this jump. Big leg kick land. Big punch lands over the top. I was gonna follow this one. Oh, huge right hand. Man, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. and both landing. And Ganu's hook shot blocked. That one was telegraphed. Good job by the defense. So three minutes off the clock in our first round. Just over 20 total strikes have landed for Francis and Ganu. Just misses with that one. Oh, he didn't like that left hand. He's got him hurt here. Oh, he might be out. He got him. 